Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mash. Welcome to Second Chance, a second person horror game. This is very different because all the horror games I've played are either first person or third person, never second. And joining me in the background is my girlfriend. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Hi. Okay, and she just really wants to, you know, watch me play these games, don't you? Oh, she... it's so great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, here we go then. So, we're not going to skip this. So there's a bomb on my desk. It's like, it's literally like sellotaped on. Um, looks like she's waking up. Okay, so I have to like control her. 20 minutes. I was hoping for at least 10. 10 exactly for the uh, YouTube. <laughs> Nola, sweetie, it's me, Adam. Wave if you can hear me. All right, she can hear me, perfect. Uh, I can't hear you, but I can see you. I don't have time to explain, but everything is gonna be okay if this bomb doesn't go off. Just see if you can find a way out of that room. The cameras in these rooms are motion activated and I can switch to a new camera once you activate it. Okay, can, can I control her or do I have to tell her where to go? There's actually controls down here. Z is to open a door and shift is to run. So if I press Z or shift, nothing happens right now. What well, if I press the arrow keys? Oh, I can spin her around. Look at her go. She's just having a good... Imagine if the person actually did this in real life. You're like, oh, okay, you need to do this. And then they just start spinning around in the middle of the room. I'd be really worried. What if they're just really stupid? Um, okay. Uh, oh, 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 she can actually move. I'm doing it. Okay, let's just go to the door, right? I mean, uh, oh God, I can't. You're she's she's drunk. Going no, no, she's drunk. <laughs> I'm really trying here. Zed? Okay, she didn't even use her hands to open that door. She used psychic powers. You can show him the code, but can he show you compassion? Mm, my my feeble brain can't comprehend this this riddle. Okay, here we are then. We're in a room filled with boxes and barrels. Okay, she's really hard to control. I'm just gonna blame the fact that she's had way too much to drink. Okay, I can see over here. Did I just come through that room with the red light above it? You know what? I don't think I did. If I go back the way I came, that'd be really bad considering I have 18 minutes and 27 seconds before this bomb goes off and kills me. Uh, can you face the door, please? Um, looks like that door is electronically locked. Oh, crap. I can open it for you, but I need the code. Okay, we need to look around and find the code. I can actually run with shift, by the way. Look, look at me go. I'm running. I'm having such a good time. Um, okay, so where's the code then? I'm going to have to look around and try and find it. There's puzzles in this game, and uh, I'm never good at puzzle games. I always end up just uh, getting stuck for some reason. I don't know why that happens to me. Okay, can I open this door? I know. What if I run up to this car and I press Z on it, and then the car has the code on it? Nope. Okay. Well, there's three barrels. Okay. There's three boxes. The code could be 33. Mm-hmm. And there's three barrels over there. It's 333. I'm a genius. That must be the code. Okay, maybe I have to go back the way I started. Uh, let's just keep looking around. Can I, like, press on uh, cabinets and open them? Maybe, like, the code's in one of these little cabinets over there. Oh, the code's right there on the wall in ginormous print. 7490. Okay, let's go all the way back and open the door then. That was fairly obvious. I was actually kind of thinking, they've done this before in games I've played, where they made the code, like the amount of objects in a room, but they make the objects really stand out, so you kind of you kind of figure it out. Whereas with this game, they just put the code on a wall. I mean, they kept it simple, honestly. Okay, uh, how about you open the door then? Yeah, open the door. Okay, why can't I open Oh, I'm pressing the wrong key, whoops. Anyway, I was pressing not said. Okay, let's go down this hallway. We're making some serious progress. Behind me, there's a crazy murderer behind me chasing after me. Oh, we closed the door in his face. Thank God for that. Well done me. That was all me. The solutions are around you. Okay, let's use our big brain again. Blue, yellow, green, and red. And I'm guessing this is electronically locked again. Uh, you haven't seen the code for this? See if you can find it. All right, so, I mean, if we go back this way was there anything down the hallway or is everything okay okay yellow red green blue on that door there's a reason that's there yellow red green blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press these in that order if i can make her face those things yellow i press that um good red this is this is literally like extremely easy puzzles like kids could figure this out they expect my iq to be that of a toddler which uh, it is. Blue, green. <laughs> or was it was it green, blue, or blue, green? I think I did it wrong. Well, let's see. Yeah. Oh, no, I did it wrong. 
Well, uh, can I restart it? <laughs> hmm. Green, blue. Oh, there we go. Six, two, two, four. Well, that's convenient. It's pointing towards the camera so I can see it on my monitor. All right, open the door again with your psychic powers. Boom. Actually, no, I think I'm the one opening the doors on the key on the keyboard. Uh, they're electronically activated, so I'm opening the doors with the codes. Oh. Oh! I, he was behind me a second second ago. Did you see that? That was weird. That was really weird. Okay, there's a blue triangle there. Remember that? Blue triangle. Okay. Okay, we're just running around. Just having a jog. He shapes your fate. Have you seen all sides of the story? Okay, so it shapes your fate, the shapes, and the size. The amount of the number of sides, possibly. Triangle has three sides. Uh, uh, that pentagon has five sides. Let's run down there. It's a blue and a green. Oh, here we go again. So, blue is three and green is five. Uh, let's keep looking around, see if we can find any more blind spots that we haven't noticed yet. This door's open for some reason. Can I go through here? Is there more to it? Oh, this is a hard puzzle. Red is four. Oh, I get it. I think the higher the number of the size, the last they are, are going to be placed. So it'll be blue, red. So blue, red, and then which one was the pentagon? Blue, red, green. It's going to be blue, red, green, and then, yeah, I think I don't even have to see the last shape. Watch this. I, the last shape's going to have more size than the rest. So blue. Uh, are you going to press it, please? Hello? Blue. Do I actually have to physically see the last shape? I think I do. Damn it. I know the last shape's going to have like six sides or something. One, two, three, four, five. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> are you kidding me? I didn't even have to look at that. Okay. <laughs> So what I think it's going to be is the more size they have, the last it comes in the equation. So it'll be blue first, because the triangle has three sides. Then red. Oh god, what colour was that hexagon? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, green then yellow. Perfect. Alright, these puzzles ain't good enough for me. Oh, 8832. It was super easy. It's a shame that they made me have to look at the, the yellow hexagon. We go it's gonna work and we're making some serious progress here maybe i won't die to this bomb on my desk oh god i'm being chased again run he's right behind you maybe he'll trip over these boxes they're very dangerous i tripped over the boxes get up get up what are you doing you don't why are you taking so long are you kidding are you kidding oh he messed he's really stupid i tripped again i tripped it he can't hit me he keeps messing oh no he killed me Oh, it's fine. At least I'll be... Oh, wait, no. I'm going to die to the bomb. Yeah. Oh, the bomb's just decided to go. Are you kidding me? The bomb ending? That's not what I wanted. I'd have to do it all again, do I? No. No, I have to do it all again. Why were there boxes? <laughs> Why were there boxes to on the floor? Up. So you died. This game is really trippy. <laughs> Okay, that was... So, that's please really ignore bad. that. I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't have said that. That is, That's not even funny. No, that joke was definitely uh, not the bomb. <laughs> that was actually really good. Oh, that was... Okay, you know what? I rate that. <laughs> okay, yeah, what do you rate that? I rate that... I don't know. <laughs> right, here we go. Watch this. No, don't even attempt to walk over. Just yes, yes, yes. Them. Okay, he's oh, chasing me. Thing. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go between them. Okay, wait. Stop running. I walk oh, over them, okay. see? That's good. You can walk over them. I'm oh god, there's more. Okay, see? <laughs> I like how the obstacles are literal cardboard boxes. <gasps> there's a switch there! Take this, killer guy. There we go. That wasn't even close. <laughs> I was miles away. Everything eats something else. Where do you fit in the chain? Uh, near the top, I would hope. Oh, there's a painting here. Can I look at it? Oh, that's scary. All right, obviously that's going to be top of the food chain. The zebra is going to be nearer to the bottom. Is that literally an explosion there, like the Big Bang or something? Oh, it's the, it's the sun, sun and water. There's a waterfall and the sun. I'm just confused. Uh, you would think the sun would be top of the food chain. Without it, everything would die. And the thing is the same with water. Without water, everything would die. Is uh, that water or is it grass? That looks like water to me. Really? Yeah, I don't know about you, but it seems like it's water. 
I'm thinking it's grass. I'm thinking no, that's it must water. Be water yeah. That's not grass. So it it's going to be grass. red, green. I mean, without either of them, you'd be dead, right? Without water yeah, or the course. sun. Yeah. And I say the sun is more important than water, maybe. Why? You Actually, need, no. no you need yeah, water water's water's more important. Life. Green, yeah. red, yellow, blue. Yeah. Sure. Green, red, yellow, blue. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. I don't think so. <laughs> but why not? What did I do wrong? Okay, so I'm gonna swap the green and the red. Yeah. Mm, so I'm gonna do red then green. Wait, which one did you do first? Did you do I did the water. I did the water yeah, first. That yeah. Makes sense. Okay, this game's making no sense all of a sudden. How the hell is the tiger ahead of the sun or water? <laughs> makes it's no sense. Powerful. And the zebra has to be last. It's a goddamn zebra. This game's being stupid now. This is being dumb. You know what? I quit. I quit this game. I don't care if that bomb explodes on my desk in 15 minutes. I refuse to play if the sun and the water is after the lion. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, anything to say? Thanks for watching. Yeah. People thank say that, right? Yeah. Leave a like and subscribe. That's a very good People point. People say that. Yeah. yeah. They make videos. Thank you. All yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.